Hello, and welcome to the Paleo Archive, where we talk all things Paleo. Now, I know I haven't been uploading anything for the past month, I believe, but I am going to make it up to you guys by doing something special. This entire month of October, I'll be doing segments of Into the Past, and it's a little bit different. In honor of Halloween, this will be one of the five episodes where we look at the largest, scariest, and most bizarre ancestors of today's modern animals. Our first episode would be about the large ape called Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus, meaning giant ape, was an extinct genus of ape that belonged to the hominid genus that lived around 9 million years ago to as recent as 100,000 years ago during the late Pleistocene and lived in what is now China, India, and Vietnam. The largest species, Gigantopithecus blackii, could stand up to 10 feet tall or 3 meters and could have weighed more than half a ton or 1,190 pounds, ranking Gigantopithecus as the largest ape to have ever existed. Not really much is known about Gigantopithecus since the only fossils that have been ever found were jaw fragments and molars. We do know, as fossil teeth are great at showing what an animal ate, we can say for sure what Gigantopithecus diet was like. With it having very flat molars, thick enamel, and a deep jaw, scientists can say that Gigantopithecus probably ate tough fiber, rich plants, and with the use of microscopes could also guess they would have eaten fruits, seeds, grass, and bamboo. Paleontologists also were able to find fossils of our own ancestors, Homo erectus, providing a high possibility that the two species interacted with one another. While the giant ape went extinct thousands of years ago, a small group of scientists proposed the theory that the giant ape did not go extinct and that it crossed the Burling Land Bridge, an ice bridge that connected Russia to Alaska and allowed animals from the Old World including humans, to migrate from Asia all the way to North America. This myth is what we know about the giant Bigfoot. Though the theory has gotten a lot of attention, it has many issues. One is that given it lived in a specialized environment, the bamboo forest of Asia, it was not well adapted for places outside the forest. And when the world started to go into the Ice Age and forests were dying on the dry climate, Dracanopithecus could not have survived, and even if it did manage to cross the land bridge and make its way to North America, most likely it wouldn't have survived for that long, again being a completely different environment. Surprisingly, it is not well represented in pop culture. The only thing I could find were brief mentionings in the Bigfoot episode of the mockumentary pseudoscience series Lost Tapes, and it is featured in the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and watch out for a new episode every Saturday of this month for more scary and large modern day animal ancestors, and until then, see you all next time.